Alright, so, this is another mission. We're looking for Grenchen again uh, to see what's going on. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Pretty cool windy path. Ah, see, this one looks like a wrecked druid building. Oh, we can go right under it. That's cool. Or is that just a shining blade thing? You can look in the door, but there's nothing in there. Hmm. Okay, Gretchen. <clears throat> Hello. Okay, so what do you have to say? Uh, at this point, um, we need your weapons and your spells far more than Vela's warnings. The White Mantle have come through here and destroyed everything in their path. Oh, is that why that building's wrecked? Maybe these guys were hiding out in them or something. Um, where they found abandoned villages, they left behind them only sticks and stones. Where they found Shining Blade, they left only corpses. I fear that we're fight fighting a losing battle. We cannot afford a misstep in the ritual to open the portal to the Druid Henge of Dimravi. So the Henge of Dimravi was some hidden city that the Druids used to live in, I guess. The Druids are a little more than spirits now. They have transcended this world and become part of the jungle, abandoning their villages. Until recently, we've been u using the structures they left behind as camps from whence to plan our operations. Haha, <laughs> so I was right. Figured it all out. Okay, so we get... Ooh, a battle axe. It does 6 to 25 damage. Is that more than mine? Oh, no, it's exactly the same. And only it requires 8, not 7 ha axe mastery. Yeah, you cheer me. Has it got any... Oh, it does 15% extra damage when I'm enchanted. Which is nice, but I'm not enchanted much. Still, it's more than that battle axe, so let's change. Let's get this new one. It's, they're both called a battle axe, but this one seems to have a different skin. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Remind me to look at that when we get out. I never looked at the shield either, actually, so... Um, that means I should just really work in an enchantment into my build, to be honest. You Let's honor speak to me. the Elder again. Uh, I'll thank Duena. I thought they'd gotten you as well. well how? I, I haven't even moved. I can't believe this. We've worked too hard to fail now. What would you like to know? Fail? What are you talking about? Only the Shining Blade inner council members know, knew of our plan to reassemble the portal to the Lost Henge. We were sold out. There can be no other explanation. Slow down, tell me what happened. The White Mantle swept in and out of nowhere, but this was no ordinary raid. They pushed right through, only fighting those who tried to stop them. Then they headed off through the abandoned Druid villages. They made straight for the Rune Pedestals. Rune Pedestals? The rune pedestals that operate the old magical portal to the Henge of Demravi. Anyone who gains control of all of them will be able to operate the portal. They were hidden long ago by the druids as a way to shut off Denravi from any who would do the jungle harm. We've been searching for them since last year, since the season of the Skion. Denravi would give us a place to organise a proper resistance against the mantle cultists and stop all the bloodshed. But what if the mantle managed to control all of the rune pedestals? They'll be able to activate the portal and lock us out. Whoever sold us out knew this and wanted to prevent us from turning the tides on the mantle. Sold out by whom? Of that I'm not sure, but I'll tell you this. Very few knew, very few outside of the inner council knew about these plans. It's a possibility. All I know for sure is that if we were attacked at precisely the worst moment, the White Mantle knew what we were up to and when to strike. I doubt it was blind luck. They were tipped off. What must I do? Get to the rune pedestals as quickly as you can. Take control of them before the White Mantle. Listen, friend, the fate of the Resistance hangs in the balance. If you succeed, succeed, we all move forward. If you fail, we all fail with you. Don't worry, I'll get those rune pedestals. Hurry, you haven't much time. This, this mission is not one of the missions I've been dreading most. But it is certainly one I've been very, very dreading because, um, well, you'll see. Uh, I'll change my build and then we can head in. Oh, sorry, and I'll also shift the armor and equip the new armor. So we'll have more defense. That's, you know, a positive side. Yeah, one sec. Okay, I'm done. 
this is our new armor. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really think it is, it's as good as the Wyvern armor, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Because um, it's got much higher armor now. Now we've got 71 armor instead of, what was it before? About 50? Uh, so, we should be taking quite a lot less damage. Um, I'm just going to die it with this die, to be honest. That doesn't look any different. The brown dye does nothing. Oh well. Okay, green. Another green helmet. Oh, that's quite cool. The red there. And purple feet. Yeah, we don't look like a clown at all. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, and the build I changed. So we're now using this new axe, this new battle axe. Um, and we needed an enchantment, I've also customised it, as you can see there, but we needed an enchantment to make it do more damage. So I was looking through the enchantments we had, and I looked at smiting prayers, and there's this one here called Strength of Honour. It's just like mending, you cast it on yourself and it will stay on there forever, at the cost of a little bit of energy regeneration. And that means that we do uh, thir plus 13 damage every single time we hit anything, which is really quite good. I know 13 doesn't sound like much, but it really will make a big difference. So, um, and we'll get 15% extra damage just from having it on there because of the axe. So, uh, I changed, I put that on there instead of Flurry, which was the one that made us attack faster, but do like 30%, no, sorry, like 15% less damage anyway. So, there you go. So, we should do a bit more damage. The rest is all the same. Uh, we've got new armor. Like I said, I'm dreading this mission. Um, if we do struggle, we're halfway. We are... 55% of the way to, to the to level 20, uh, and if thing if I really can't complete it, then we'll just get to level 20 and do it from there. Oh, hold on. All right, let's read Aurora Glade. Um, a long time ago, a tribe of human druids ventured into the jungle to make peace with the jungle. For many years, they lived in harmony with the Maguma, making their home in Aurora Glade. Ah, oh, so this was their home. Though there are rumours, no one has actually seen or heard from any of the druids in over a hundred years. Guess that means druids not in their spirit form. Okay. That was Aurora Glade, and here's the mission. Uh, get to the Henge portal. Attune the portal before the White Mantle do. Looks very overgrown here. Is that the tall tree? That's Ventari's Ref- No, it's not. Ah, oh, that would have been so cool if that was Ventari's ref Refuge. That we can see there. All right, let's go. Maguma spiders, but they've already popped up. So I like this place. It's very uh, thick, really jungly, which is just how it should look, really. Uh, more thorn stalkers. Am I safe here? Nope. Some moss scarabs just up ahead. Going under this big tree here. I like going under these trees. I don't know why, it's just cool going under them. Oh, there's two of them. in the desert. Oh no, there's... I've got weakness on me. Fuck! I can't go forward. I'm gonna have to kill these, uh... Devourers, because... Um... I can't, uh... Go over... I can't go forward, because the thorn stalkers have got, um... Uh... I keep putting weakness on me, so then I'd get knocked over by the thorn stalkers. So, give me a second. Okay, cool. So that's them dead. Now we can keep pushing forward. That's kind of annoying. I was hoping that this first part of the mission, when we're going to the pedestals, uh, I could just run easily. Because if I keep failing at the pedestals themselves, then um, of course that was that will make things significantly more annoying. What have we got here? White mantle. Obviously, they're fighting the wildlife because they don't like it any more than I do. Which is good. 
There's some bosses over there. Gar the Merciful. Yeah, your chest. Mine. Shining Mall. Another druid house here. <coughs> Alright, there's a pedestal there. Are these the pedestals I'm looking for? Oh shit, I'm blocked. How was I supposed to know you can't walk down there? Alright, I'm summoning Charlie. Help me, Charlie. Help me. Ah, there's a fucking boss there as well. As long as they keep attacking me, it should be fine. I'll pause it. Oh, I just want to point out, the White Mantle were doing like 4 damage to me. 5. Oh, 7, 10. Oh, well, he hit me for 0 just now as well, when he, was doing, when he wasn't using any skills. That was pretty sweet. Alright, that's him dead. Okay, so we were at this pedestal, and when I killed that guy, this druid appeared. So let's speak to him. He didn't say anything. Oh, but a crystal appeared in here. Oh, and now I can take the crystal. Oh, I remember this is how this works. So you take the crystal from one pedestal, and... Oh wow, that looks cool. There's like a little cave in there. Yeah, and I think you put it on the other pedestal. And then what happens? It just says get... Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I missed the animation. Uh, this was a wall just now. I guess it's withdrawn and we can go forward. Okay, so let's get moving. We've got Charlie now, so I guess that means I've got to just start fighting. Uh, my way through. <coughs> Shouldn't be too hard. That's them down. Don't have to pick up any more emblems or anything like that. Ah, uh, wind riders, they're gonna strip my enchantment. So I can't use that here. I'll turn it off. Wow, so many dead trees. So what we're gonna do is look for more of these druids with their pedestals because that's how we're gonna attune the entrance to the henge. Should do plenty of damage to these guys though. Not a problem. Wow, they interrupted my uh, axe attack. There we go. Uh, forwards. Ah, uh, more spiders. Hmm, left or right? What do you think? Uh, left, I think. Wait, that's not a shortcut, is it? No, it can't be. Oh no, this is a dead end. Okay, maybe it is the other way. Hey, we got a shield, a gold shield. Called a round shield. It gives us 